So let's talk about that carbon footprint that you just referred to. A lot of people might be surprised to learn, I was, although I've heard you mention this a couple of times now when we've visited, that it is the, that the rail industry, or rail, is the second lowest producer of emissions in transportation categories, and that there's a lot of investment going on in even bringing that down right. further. So this is sort of an obvious question, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on the value of that investment, given that you're coming in at a very low emissions rate as it is right now. So we run a fun little ad as an industry that says we can move one ton of freight, uh, 500 miles on one gallon of diesel. So think about that, one ton of freight, one gallon of diesel, 500 miles. And as with most particulate matter and um, all the various SOX, NOX, carbon, most of that is all really tied to fuel efficiency. Mm -hmm. So we are extremely fuel efficient. So we already have a, a, a step up on the rest of the competition, i.e. the, the over-the-road trucker. Uh, but it's something that we know that as people do begin to think about pricing carbon, whether it's in a cap-and-trade or a carbon tax or anything like that, we believe the value of continuing to reduce our emission is going to pay huge dividends for us.